good morning fans privateer fx coming at you friday 11 uh december two weeks till christmas checking out this euro aussie chart we look we talked about it yesterday total dick in a box pretty choppy back to 40 overnight which is fairly unpleasant um Looks pretty straightforward, right? Just sell your Aussie, but we got caught a little bit in these little choppy zones. I think we were just didn't have the rhythm for it, right? We were like part of the part of the flock instead of uh, the sheepdog on this one. But your Aussie's broken. This could go a lot lower. Um, you want to sell high ones, your Aussie, your CAD, weirdly. This makes you give pause to the Euro Oz move. Um, Euro CAD did not break. Got through 40, traded down to 05. Bang, 77 bid. Dollar CAD went a little bit crazy town, um, down to the figure yesterday, but um, then found bids. And then, of course, Euro is floating a bit here. Uh, I guess one of the big questions in all of this is what's Aussie going to do? Iron ore is through the roof, so this is, I guess, holding Aussie, uh, helping Aussie stay firm. Is that a turn bar there? Up, up to 72? Don't know. Pretty steep here. Now, this last sort of 130 points is pretty steep. Um, we are, like, looking at kind of risk off here. There's no... It's, you know, no doubt that stocks um, don't look great. 43 is the big number in stocks. You can see it better on the four hours. These lows here, beginning of December. Yesterday was crazy, right? 44 given. Bang. 30 handles, 74 paid. Uh... Watch 44. Um, I'd watch 44 in stocks for like the hourly close below 44. Things look uh, a little bit slippery. Where did Airbnb close? 144. My God, Airbnb. Fuck me with a coconut. Jesus. Um, let's look at dollar yen. Looked bid yesterday. We got up to 57. Looks offered today. We're down at, been down to 92. Um, still just playing around in this range, right? Gets interesting for us above 104.75 or below 103.70. Uh, just dancing here in the range, dollar yen, but we are keeping an eye. I guess now we're keeping an eye. Yesterday we were keeping an eye on the top side level. Now we're keeping an eye on the downside level. Um, if you're an excellent range trader, this is your horse. Urien put in a little double toppy sort of thingamabobby there. Hmm, not really sure. No one's really trading Urien these days, so don't know. Dollars are. Rang the bell up at 1510. This is the long term pivot. Dollar max closed above 20. Uh, these are all risk off signs. You can buy dollars R today if we get above 1510. We're gonna do that. Um, sexy Mexi up to 05, down to 92, up to 04, down to 97. She's she's resisting the break higher, but it's a pretty bullish bar. Close at 01. Um, Dollar Max looks like she can go higher here. Aussie Yen caught with this Aussie draft. This does not look right to me. Um, boy, that was a bullish day yesterday. Did we get our little capitulation hourly bar just like in the Aussie there up to 72? Is this it? The 77 trade? Don't know. Um, if stocks head down through 40, we're gonna we're gonna give this thing a little bit of a nudge. Gold, 
Not much going on gold. Now we're in a little consolidation mode. The bulls had control. Then they all puked on themselves. And now we're consolidating here, deciding which way to go. <sighs> Looks like left uh, to me. I don't know. It does look like left is the next direction, but we'll see. Um, no dogs in the gold fight now. We 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 pretty much failed miserably. We started trying to buy this shit at, at 1800, and then we tried to buy it down into the 80s. Made a little bit of money there, and then we tried to buy it on the way up, but we fucked it up and lonely bids and it was a it was a it was a botch, as we say. Bond your bid. Um, this is that risk off tone we're talking about. We do want to sell high one still today. We'll probably try and sell I don't know one high 173s into the 174s and just trade that on the short side. Bitcoin tickling a little bit lower. Not much to talk about. 18,000 still hanging in there. Let's look at let's look at BTPs. Imagine. Imagine if you were Germany and you're handing over to Italy like, I don't know, 50, 60 billion euros. And you are like, historically, you're the least trustworthy nation in the EU as far as spending is concerned. Here's a gift, 60 billion. Please use this wisely. <laughs> I mean, I find it incre incredibly hilarious. Um, you know, the entire Italian government is tripping over themselves to try and get their hands on this money and uh, just give it to their friends, typical Italian style. Um, as most of you know, I'm, I'm, I'm married an Italian. My family is sort of half Italian by marriage. Uh, I mean, they are Italian, so we're kind of half Italian here. So I'm pretty well versed now after 20 years of marriage culturally on on how that place works and obviously I love it deeply um, you know but even though I love Italy and I think it's amazing I also recognize their faults and uh, not great with money and so why are BTPs here I don't know um, this we're not going to be first on this, but we're waiting for this to turn. Uh, we tried BTP shorts earlier this year to no avail, but we will try them again when the time is right. Um, going to be a disaster, uh, this waste of stimulus. And then, of course, the budget over there is just a mess. So we shall see. We shall see. Listen, the calendar today is uh, we have this European uh, summit all day so there'll be headlines on that there'll be some brexit headlines bailey speaking from the boe at 9 30 this morning in switzerland we have ppi out of the u.s uh, which is not super interesting um capitalization rate out of canada also not super interesting so we'll be we'll be doing we'll be making our keys on this uh, stock market chart which is sort of the risk on risk off um interesting level here 36.44 we've been down to 53 up to 67 um, looks like the first move is going to be left in Europe here keep an eye on the Airbnb price how that holds up after that insane IPO also we keep an eye on Dash a little bit just as like little nuggets um, in the story of greed and fear um Greed is ruling the day right now, I tell you what. But after greed comes fear, and then after fear comes greed. Uh, this is just the way of the world. All right, listen, I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there, people. Go ahead and make some dough today, and um, have a good weekend. I will see you all on Monday. Ciao.